All right, Rhodes, where are we? We are in Grand Rapids at Camper World. The uh, young sales guy here seems pretty friendly. Um, what are we looking at? About, we're just browsing. We already kind of know what we know. A short box is what we have, but it's always still fun to kind of fun to look at the other truck campers because I always like seeing truck truck campers are very versatile. Wherever you can park, that can be your home. So that's the nice thing with truck campers. So we're looking at Arctic Fox, there's a Wolf Creek, which we've never looked in, and some Lances, which we're pretty familiar with. We owned one a long time ago. So we owned an 845 back in 2005 till 2008 when gas prices went through the roof. Now gas prices are going through the roof and we're looking again. Um, so <laughs> Last time we sold, who knows? But just getting some ideas and it's just kind of fun to look. All right, we are at Camper World. We've got a really nice salesman with us here today. He's not pushy at all. He basically said, you guys can just look and when you're done, meet me in the uh, store if you got any questions. So, so we pleasantly, that's the approach I like. We were pleasantly so were surprised. We, they have Arctic Fox, Lance, and a w couple Wolf Creeks here. We decided to go ahead and look at the Wolf Creek. From the price standpoint, it's probably the most reasonable. We need to look at a little bit of the uh, water capacities and some of that. But uh, it's a Wolf Creek 840. It's got a pretty nice uh, looking front, matches the uh, um, Godzilla really good with that uh, gray. Um, so yeah, let's take a look around here. It's got the uh, Rico Titan jacks. I don't know if these, how well these perform, but I uh, do know I have been seeing different reviews on other jacks, and it may be better than those. At I point. like the black. I don't know about yeah, performance, I do like the black but as well. Visually, uh, it looks like aluminum, probably a gel coat. Mm -hmm. um, what we do like in the uh, back here. It does have a uh, onboard 2500 Onan generator. Um, like we said, it's the uh, Wolf Creek 840 made out of uh, Oregon. Um, and this says camper weight is 2,332 pounds when it contains standard equipment, bottled water, and all that. I have a feeling it's probably weighs more than that, um, but that's what we know. One thing we do like is the uh, big bumper step. This is like our old Lance 845. The, uh, we like the Lance 865, but we don't like, there's just no step. So we like the uh, flip down, even when this is already lowered on the ground. Um, obviously, if it's up on a truck, it's probably sitting up here. So this step is going to come up to here, but that's still, that's still better. Um, it looks like the uh, drain valves are all under here. You got your uh, gray and black right there. Um, looks like low drain point um, switches there, which that's fine. Um, let's see. Looks like probably your plumbing there, drain there. See an outdoor shower. Outdoor shower. What, we now, like those. We're not sure on this. You must put some Just sort the of, hose. Maybe they have. It's a hose. It's a hose or something like that. So we have probably liked where you hang it up before. You know, there's the shower on the outside. But it is still nice having that if you need to rent sand off or something like that. Um, battery. battery compartment. I like how it's got the uh, center of gravity. Center of gravity is you want a lot of your weight going forward if possible. Um, or line up right around the center of your truck. Two propanes. That's kind of nice. So if you run out of one, you know you got the other one. You know, you know when you got to refill. I'm not sure what this one is. It's but, locked. And that's locked, which would be your potable water. So I like the windows up there. Um, yeah, it's got the uh, it's got a nice look to it. All right, so we had Josh show you the outside, and surprisingly, we're pretty happy with what we saw on the inside. There's a few things that maybe people who can't get up and down certain things, maybe this isn't the camper for them, but. Uh, but luckily, we're in our prime still. Luckily, we're still young enough that we can uh, do some of these things. Autumn's still just under the mid 40s. And yeah, there's no latch there, so it just opens, I guess. No latch, it just opens. No right. latch. Don't leave it open. Okay, so come on in. All right, so when you walk into uh, the Wolf Creek 840, the first thing you walk into is the living space, which I think is the greatest thing to walk into. What we like, and we like the Lance, but when you first walk in, the bathroom's on the left, and then the dinette's right here. Not, doesn't feel as big. 
Uh, that's the one thing we liked about the Northern Light is when you walked in, yes, the bathroom was on the left, but you kind of went down a little hallway and then it got big and you had the kitchen and you had everything. So lots of great storage here. Yeah, keep those open. Yep, lots of great storage. For a truck camper, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pantry. Yep, pantry. And then down below, there's storage too. There's three drawers, four drawers actually. And then there's a place here underneath for your plumbing. A uh, big fan of the one bowl sink. Big yeah, lift fan. that up. Uh, it's actually, this is heavy duty. And that's so a uh, steel bowl. Yep. We like that. I think a different faucet would be for me, but that can be easily changed. Uh, so the, we do like the big one bowl. It just one, I mean, we, when we had the lance before, it was like two separate sections and it was, it was very difficult to wash a pan. <laughs> when you have little kids, that's difficult. I kind of like this. I mean, you can put your controllers, you can put, you know, your glasses, Spices. Your, Josh's wallet so he doesn't lose it because that's oh. pretty normal. Uh, bummer. Anyways, it has a gas stove. I am a big fan of gas. Uh, my homes have gas stoves. Uh, we even converted from electric to gas. It's got an oven. Uh, some people don't use an oven, but me personally, we like to bake some things. We like to make things. Uh, when we're camping, we don't want to spend all our time at the restaurant. The goal is to spend our time in the camper or at the campground or things like that. So anyways, so on this side, this is where we kind of have the dinette, obviously the two poles are probably up there, but, um, so the two poles and then the actual place where you can, you know, the actual table, it's kind of, kind of a small table, but actually don't mind the U shape. You kind of lay down in it if you want Yeah, you could take a nap. I think it does convert probably. Uh, so then the overhead, um, this is like a bunk if you have kids, which we don't have any kids, but someday we might have grandkids. Uh, well, we have kids that are grown up. Let me correct that. We don't have any little kids. <laughs> Natalie and Hannah, if you're watching this, we still have kids. Anyways, but you can pull this down. This is great. We can put storage in here, whatever we have to do. Um, of course, I like all the natural light and the windows. Uh, so the refrigerator, this, is, this but, is a selling point for me because a lot of the truck campers have a really small refrigerator. The Northern Light has a good size. The Lance is pretty small. Uh, but this one uh, is pretty big and it has... All I'm not sure space. on the size. We're thinking a four cubic, maybe a five. Yeah. Um, I doesn't say here. We'll we'll look it up in the book. Yeah. And yeah, I'll open the freezer. Yeah, it's got a little freezer, which you know you don't need that much. You're camping, right? So, uh, so yeah, it's pretty nice. Then, okay, so you there's a little latch right here, pulls down. Because when I first walked in, I was like, how do you get in the bathroom? <laughs> like that's a really high thing. So when you walk up. You can actually get into the bathroom and clearly i'm pretty short so i have i don't know probably Skylight. eight inches of clearance here but there's so a you'll know if it's raining if you're in the shower it looks like there's a little fan back here there's a little light uh there's even a shower curtain ring if you want there's a towel ring and then of course there's a toilet uh paper and then the toilet the one thing that josh and i've always talked about is it's a truck camper it's small. Take a shower, eat, and sleep. Not sure why you need a sink in the bathroom. Seems like the sink's right here, the bathroom's right here. You just step out, wash your hands, step out, brush your teeth, that kind of thing. Okay, so then the rest of the camper, like, obviously, where are we going to sleep? So, uh, first, I just want to say we have an AC up here. So, got to have AC. Like, today, I'm feeling it. It's pretty warm right now. Uh, right here is your panel for your water pump, your porch light, your cab over light, any uh, gas, water, everything like that. Everything's right here. Okay, and then right here up top is the solar charge control. So it already has solar panels. We'll show you the top here in yep. a minute. And then below is kind of like your Bluetooth. You know, you can play music and things like that. We didn't look on the outside of their speakers on the outside. We'll look. But then back here is the bed. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna crawl up there today. They don't have to step installed, but. Uh, I'll let, there's plenty of storage, there's USB ports, there's a TV. This is probably, just looking at this real quick, this is where a northern light shines as far as if you want ease of use sliding into the bed. Right, so it's a little more difficult to get in the bed. Now, we're in our prime. People, some people, you know, they never get up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom. Uh, that would be Josh, but for me, I usually get up once or twice. So, I'll have so to climb down I'll and have climb to back climb up in the bathroom. And climb back in. <laughs> But the good news is, let me just give you this little story. When we owned the, Ants, the Lance 845, we had a bloodhound, and his name was General. And I remember that the same thing. When you first walked in, the, there was like a little hallway here, and, and General was always laying, and I, always ha I would always fall over him in the night 
to get to the bathroom. So in this case, I'm not going to be falling over anything, even if we had a dog. So we had a dog and we it. had one kid that would use the bunk, one kid that would use yes. the overhead because they were smaller. So you yes. can do it with two small kids and a pet. Yes. And one of the things we really, really loved about truck camping, and I know some people are like, it's so small, but actually it feels bigger than you think. But we loved that we could pull over anywhere and just cook something if you see a garage uh, sale you can turn around and pull into beach. it yeah we can pull into the garage sale it's not this big long trailer coming with us we just pull in when we go to yellowstone we can just ride on through and there's and when you know when you go to these national parks you have to pay attention and read before you go if you have a camper because they don't allow certain lengths into the park like from the front of your truck bumper to the end of your trailer it's like 20 feet so if you have more than that you have to park your camper somewhere while you go through the park so the beauty of the truck camper is we don't have to park the truck camper. We can pull over wherever we want, take a nap. We can pull over and eat. We can take over and just chill out for a little bit. Maybe we're getting tired of driving. We just need a break. So that's kind of why we like the truck camper. The one thing I will say is I've never liked camper mattresses. Any camper we ever owned. So we'd probably pull that people. out and uh, throw <laughs> a uh, one that you blow up. Or yeah, out. so the one that we've been using at the house, so a shout out to the Scott Brothers. I know this isn't supposed to be an infomercial, but... We have purchased, uh, I bought Natalie one, I bought one for us, a king size at the house, and then I bought one for the lake house rental. But the Scott Brothers, they sell a really great hybrid mattress, which is like part memory foam, part springs. And I've always had a lot of back problems, had troubles, I even had a split king so I could move my side to help, and we got rid of the split king, and now we're doing this, uh, this cool Scott Brothers mattress, and we haven't had any issues. So shout out to the Scott Brothers. Thank you so much for helping me sleep better at night. Anyways, but we would probably change this out. We pull the mattress out, get a Scott Brothers one, throw it in, you know, cause it comes wound up like this, throw it in, cut the plastic off and let it expand and there you go. Um, so Josh is gonna do a little panning in here of what's going on in the, the bed area. So you have a side closet that's got a, you can hang up stuff there. Same thing with that one right there. Reading lights. Both sides of the bed have USB ports and plugs. And there's another cabinet there and a swing out TV. So this TV swings out so you can watch it in the dining room area. Well, let's look at the roof. There is the fantastic vent above the bed. So I imagine that cools it through here pretty good when you open up these two side windows. It's got a nice uh, rack. There's a nice grab handle up here. Okay. All right, we are on the roof. Here's your low profile uh, Coleman mock air conditioner, which we like that. So you don't need as much clearance. There's a small solar panel up there, Zamp Solar. I'm not sure the wattage on that. We'll try to find that out. There's a wind guard. I think that's a TV antenna thing there. But it looks like a good solid roof, membrane roof, I think. <laughs> but we're actually really liking the Wolf Creek, surprisingly. Uh, not even that it's a lower price point, it's just even the feeling when you go inside. I like the colors better. Uh, there's a few things that it doesn't have compared to the Lance or the Northern Light, which is to be expected. But honestly, we just want to get in our truck camper. We want to go places. We want to enjoy traveling, enjoy things. So it was a great, uh, actually this is a nice surprise. So We love the Northern Light but this is literally probably going to be close to 15 20 grand maybe 20 grand really cheaper Less, than the northern light yeah um which is, yeah we, we understand we're not just it's just one of those standpoints that's a lot of vacations yep and the thing is is what do we really want to do with it and where do we really want to go and i think each person has to make that decision for themselves as they're looking to buy a camper we're looking to buy a big purchase what's the end goal with it what do you want to do with it and for us we just want to go places and enjoy everything and, and vacation and travel um so anyway so this was a pleasant surprise camper world uh we're pleasantly uh surprised and thankful for your salesperson here uh it was awesome we he's been great uh, so kudos to him, and he even knew what our Godzilla was. So that was pretty yeah. cool too. He even knew because we told yeah, him seven point three liter gas. Yeah. He's like, "Whoa, the Godzilla!" So that was pretty cool. So this is definitely high in the running. And this the Lance eight sixty five Godzilla would run this thing. Yeah, the Godzilla will carry this. Yay! So we will see what we do.